Hello guys, this is Migo. Today I will show you how to make this type of uh, bubble simulation in Blender. Let's go to the render view right here. So I put this render in TikTok and uh, some people ask me how did I do this uh, bubbles effect. I'm gonna show you two ways how to make those type of bubbles. So let's start. So let's go guys. So there is two ways to make this uh, bubbles effect. The first way is using uh, the soft body uh, modifier and the second uh, way is uh, to uh, to use uh, the cloth simulation i will show you the both uh, ways so let's start with uh, the soft body simulation what we need to do is just add a uh, icosphere like this and just scale it down a little bit like this and apply the scale and move it right here uh, now we go here and we do this uh, physics panel and we need to apply a soft body to this uh, icosphere and we need to go here to the field weights and give the gravity to zero and remove the gravity. And we need to go here to the goal and uh, check this button. And uh, we need to add a uh, force uh, force field like this and give it a, neg a negative value, maybe uh, minus uh, three like this. Now, if we uh, press play in the animation, see how our uh, our uh, ball react to uh, this uh, this force. So now what we need to do is just go here and uh, turn on the self collision and we go here to this solver and uh, this is too much for us if we go with this uh, with these values the scene will be very laggy and uh, the simulation will take a long time so let's press this and uh, let's set this step minimum to 1 and this to 13 this max to 13 and I think this is enough for our simulation let's see now okay and to make it smooth, we need to go here and uh, add a uh, subdivision subsurface with two levels and set this shading to smooth. And we need to be uh, this uh, subdivision under this soft body modifier. Now how we gonna create uh, a lot of balls? So uh, we need to go to the edit mode and we need to set this to frame zero. And we need to duplicate this, duplicate a couple of times like this. Okay. Now if we play our animation, see how they will react to each other. Uh, let's make it maybe just 100 frame. Okay, see how they will react to each other. But uh, if we, uh, if you want uh, to make them a little bit uh, stiff, you can go here and uh, this dumping make it one. And let's see now, they will stick together. And uh, you can play with those settings uh, to get a good result. Uh, for me, I think the best values are to put this uh, 0 0.7. And the same here 0 0.7 and go here here to the bending and put this maybe uh, 0 0.6 like this let's see uh, and uh, maybe we turn off uh, where is it this stiffness okay and uh, we turn off this uh, damping to zero like this let's see now okay okay if uh, them to stick uh, together you put this to one okay like this they will stick together if you want them to like uh, bounce you, you need to reduce this value to 0.3 or something like this okay see the, how they bounce but uh, there is a little bit of uh, space between them so you need to go here and uh, uh, reduce this size to maybe 0 0.3 or 0 0.2 and let's see now okay maybe let's uh, bring it up a little bit okay You need to just play with this value until you get a good result. Okay, guys. And uh, what's, what's cool about this uh, method that you can duplicate uh, those balls like uh, a lot and it will still work in, uh, in the viewport like this. See? Let's see, the, uh, let's see them right here. Okay. If you go higher steps here in this max value like... Uh, we uh, we found it uh, like 300 the viewport will ve be very laggy and you you will maybe crash uh, your blender so let's keep it like 13 at maximum okay and see our simulation now our bubbles are uh, colliding each uh, with each other if you want to add a product in the middle maybe let's just add a cylinder like this scale it down and uh, you need to give it a little bit of geometry here some loops and let's make this collision and now the the bubbles will collide with this uh, object see 
OK. OK, guys, that's the first method. Now what we can do uh, with the second method is just uh, we're going to remove this soft body and we're going to add it a cloth simulation to this, uh, to this same uh, bubbles or same ecosphere. And I think this method is better than uh, the soft body because uh, the collision here looks uh, very nice. So uh, we're gonna, as we said, add a cloth uh, simulation to this uh, icosphere. And we go here and select rubber. And we're gonna reduce those steps to three or two. Maybe let's try with two because I'm recording and my CPU is a little bit uh, in usage right now. So, and we're gonna just go here and turn, or, uh, turn off the gravity set it to zero and we're gonna go here to this collision and turn on the self collision okay and uh, up the steps to the quality to four and let's see uh, now our animation and it's very laggy because why guys who can tell me why it is very laggy because we forget to put the, the subdivision here because if you put the subdivision before uh, the cloth, it will calculate all this geometry and it's very dense. See the, the wireframe. If we put it right here, see it will be very dense right there and it will uh, cause a lot of calculation that uh, we don't need. So if we play right now, it will be very smooth, but uh, nothing happened because our, uh, our uh, force, we need a lot of force to make those uh, bubbles come in. So maybe let's put like 300. Okay, let's see right now. Okay. Okay, maybe let's give it like 600 minus, I mean, minus 600. And let's uh, scale this timeline a little bit. So let's see right now. Okay, see how they will collide with, the, with each other. Okay, nice. And uh, it's working in real time, guys. So you can like... Uh, okay. You can go like duplicate all of those one more time like this and duplicate it one more time like like this and see you have like I don't know how many bubbles they are and it's working real time it's like a very nice uh, simulation you have a good CPU of course it will be very fast and maybe we can if we want it to you want it to a to to hold the shape a little bit like this, don't bend a lot. What you can do is just go here and uh, set this bend into one. And uh, maybe we give it a little bit of pressure. So it will hold its shape. So let's go activate the pressure and give it maybe a one. So let's see right now. See how it uh, will hold a little bit of that shape. Maybe we give it a pressure of five. Let's see. Okay. Uh, maybe let's uh, increase this bending to to fifty and this tangent to thirty. Okay. Let's see now. Okay, I think the, the, the bubbles are holding the shape very well. So you can uh, play with those settings to get uh, very good results, you know. Okay, now if uh, you want to use this uh, simulation, you can go here to, the, to this cache and uh, put your... How many frames do you want? Maybe uh, we want just uh, 200 frames. And uh, press here this cache. And let's pick it. Okay, our bake finished, so maybe we just need to add a camera right here. And let's go make it a vertical resolution like this and give it 30 FPS. Okay, let's go here to the camera view. Okay, let's see right now the simulation right here. Okay, let's make the camera zoom a little bit like this. Okay. Okay, let's go to the cycle engine and let's uh, try to render this shot. Okay. 
let's add a background like this and let's add emission like one and let's give this uh, bubbles a uh, glass material okay let's go to the transmission and set it to one and let's reduce the roughness like this and the metalliness a little bit and let's maybe give it like uh, this color and let's see right now okay you can play uh, with the shaders as you want guys i mean uh, i showed you uh, the techniques now i want to give it i want to put some uh, some products here and give it this uh, bubble some materials and i will show you the final result okay see you guys in another tutorial thanks <laughs>